Clark's 150 spearheads Worcestershire fight back at Surrey. Surrey skipper Burns made the highest championship score of the season so far yesterday. He helped his side pile up 434 against Worcestershire, but the visitors didn't buckle and got off to a solid start, resuming on day three on 135 for one. Mitchell and Fell returned to the crease and didn't last long before the first wicket fell. Mitchell, trapped by Clark, LBW, the batsman only managing to add four runs to his overnight score of 77. Fell and Newman Clark continued to push on despite that wicket though, Tom Fell reaching his 50, a patient but valuable knock coming off 126 balls. The duo managed to add a few more runs and comfortably survived through to lunch without any further loss. An excellent morning for Worcestershire despite the early loss of opener Darrell Mitchell. Surrey's only success then as Fell and Clark shared an unbroken stand of 89. The visitors 206 behind with eight wickets still remaining going into the afternoon. Clark and Fell continued where they'd left off in the second session, both players finding a few more boundaries. It took some time before the third wicket came. Tom Fell, the man to depart for 88. The ball caught and bowled by Curran. Unfazed by his partner's dismissal, Joe Clark brought up his 118 ball 50, and his new partner Head also looked confident hitting a number of emphatic boundaries. The batsman soon claimed a half century of his own, this one coming off just 51 balls. But Verdi cut celebration short, claiming the next wicket of Head clean bowled for 50. Off the very next ball, Cox was removed LBW by Verdi. Two in two balls for Surrey and things suddenly looking up. But Clark and Barnard managed to see things through until T. The score 350 for five at this stage. Worcestershire still trailing by 84. Despite those big scores from Mitchell, Fell and Clark, quick wickets from Amir Verdi swung momentum back Surrey's way ahead of the evening session. Clark and Barnard returned to the crease and continued to chip away at Surrey's lead. Joe Clark soon reached his 10th first-class century. And the batsman didn't ease off the gas, continuing to increase the run rate. And it didn't take too much time before Clark surpassed 150, that tremendous milestone coming off 271 balls. However, just two overs after moving past the 150 mark, Clark was out. LBW to McCurr for 157. Barnard and new man Tuig saw play through to the close, Worcestershire's batsmen dominating the day as they closed on 469 for six, 35 runs ahead of Surrey's first innings total with four wickets still remaining. Heading into the final day, it looks as though Worcestershire will avoid defeat for the first time this season, the draw looking the likely result.